The sexual assault lawsuit against Brins Prince Andrew. A federal judge rejected a bid to throw out the suit over jurisdictional grounds, just as the Prince's lawyers are due in court for a major hearing. Ariel Reshef is at federal court in Manhattan with the details. Good morning, Ariel. Good morning to you, George. After his friend Ghislaine Maxwell's conviction on sex trafficking charges last week, all eyes are now on that civil suit against Prince Andrew. And despite his latest attempts to have that civil suit thrown out, the judge ruling it will proceed. This morning, Prince Andrew facing a setback in a civil suit filed against him in a New York court. A federal judge refusing to halt the case on the grounds that his accuser, Virginia Roberts Jufre, does not live in the United States. But the royal will still be able to argue that point in the future. This is a very technical argument that they raised regarding jurisdiction, and this was a setback for them. The term of art is without prejudice which means the, the defense theoretically can bring that motion again. Jufre's attorneys say she currently lives in Australia, but intends to return to Colorado, where her mother resides and where she is registered to vote. Now 38, Jufre claims she was trafficked for sex by Jeffrey Epstein and accuses Prince Andrew of having sex with her on several occasions and in multiple locations, including New York, starting when she was 17. Claims he has vehemently denied. I've said consistently, and, um, and frequently that we never had any sort of sexual contact. Andrew has attacked Jufre, calling her lawsuit baseless, meant to achieve another payday. Focus shifting to Prince Andrew after the sex trafficking conviction of his longtime friend, Ghislaine Maxwell. Maxwell, who was found guilty last week of five federal counts, introduced the Queen's son to disgrace multimillionaire and convicted sex offender Jeffrey Epstein. In an interview with the BBC, the prince previously acknowledging he saw Epstein several times over the years and stayed at his home in New York City, even after Epstein had been convicted of sex crimes. It was a convenient place to stay with the benefit of all the hindsight that one could have. Um, it was definitely the wrong thing to do. A jury has returned a guilty verdict, so um, there's no more presumption of innocence. Now, it's, this has been proven in court, not specifically against him, but that these women were in fact abused by Jeffrey Epstein and by Ms. Maxwell. And as for what comes next, a hearing on the Prince's motion to dismiss will happen tomorrow. George. Ariel, thanks. Let's bring in our Royal contributor, Robert Jobson. Robert, thank you for joining us. Again, double blow for Prince Andrew last week, like Elaine Maxwell verdict, and of course, this ruling by the federal judge. Any reaction from the royal family? No, no, George, the royal family will stay completely quiet there, so any references will be made to his lawyers. And in fact, in that respect, they sort of cut that off completely. The royals will, of course, behind the scenes be having meetings. We know that Prince uh, Charles and the Queen have done their best, really, to uh, effectively cut Prince Andrew out of public life um, whilst this case is going on. Uh, but the palace itself, in terms of their official spokesman, is saying nothing. I'm sure behind closed doors there will be meetings for the worst case scenario, though. You say effectively cut him out of public life. What more could they do? It's, it's very limited, actually, George. The reality is people were talking in the papers over here about him losing his title, the Duke of York, about him losing his HRH title. Um, if he had been made an order of the garter, for example, which is something that uh, Tony Blair's just been made and Camilla's made and Charles is one of those, when they dress up in all those ornate robes going back 700 years, that... Um, that um, actual honour, that could be taken away if you bring that order into disrepute. Very little else they can do. He's not a member of that. Um, and they would simply, I would think, ultimately just cut him out of public life. I can't see him ever going to America. I can't see him putting himself in that position. And I, I can't see him, even if the case is in the favour of Virginia Gouffre, paying out the money if the money is, is due. But in terms of his reputation, George, it's pretty shot anyway. Over here, his, uh, the damage has already been done, I think. As they cut him loose, what's he living on? Well, he does get... He has had money in the past and... Um, from the Queen, Her Majesty the Queen, and she used to pay for all his public affairs. But I think we understand that the Queen is paying for his um, legal bills, which are huge from what we understand. Um, he's living at Royal Lodge, which is uh, um, given to him by the Queen. And she does uh, pay out from her personal income to keep him um, in the standard that he's keeping him, uh, of living. But the reality is, that's it. He's not doing any public duties. And people will be asking going forward, um, you know, he's not getting public money, he's getting private money from the Queen. But even that looks wrong. Robert Jobson, thanks very much. Well, hey,
Hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.